Hi, we're trading the ES on a 2000 tick chart with 21 EMA. So I drew my overnight highs here and my overnight lows here. And we started off, if I got in and started looking at the chart around 738, we started in this downtrend and we had a break. And when a downtrend gets a break, you can expect prices to make a new low. And so downtrend, break, expecting a new low. It's breakout, pullback off the lows of the day. Good signal bar. The correction played out with a break and a new high. I think this is a great looking trade. I was out of the room during this trade, so I actually didn't even get it. So that's unfortunate. Now it's not quite off the EMA, but with how strong the move down is and the context with the correction playing out and the good signal bar, I think that it's fine just off this range lows. Um, so there's the first trade. We make a new low, downtrend break new low. We go into a small congestion, just like it oftentimes does. Breakout, most breakouts fail. Fades, no good setup, no good signal bar, no high or low, nothing like that. So we fade and we have this spike up. We get a break, first attempt at a new high, second attempt at a new high, failure. And so this is a failed second entry long, first entry long, second entry long, failure. There's no good signal bar, no good setup to go short. It closes back above the EMA right before where the entry would be, but you just don't get a setup there. And what I'm pointing out again, it's the second attempt to make the new high for this uptrend. And usually it, it, market will try to make a make a new high twice, and if it if it can't, it'll just it'll fail after two attempts. So failed second entry. Then we get this lower high. It's way too big. It's at the low of the move. No entry here. Go into this downtrend. Overshoot leads to a break. I'm going to remove it so we don't clutter up too much. So we go into this uptrend. We get a break. Two attempts at a new high and then it fails. There's no entries to go long in this range or short up here, but there is this entry, which I did take, and it's actually a breakout pullback off this, off these range lows. It's a first entry long, second entry long, failure. So it's a reversal pattern from this uptrend. Uptrend, failed to play out. Reversal pattern, breakout pullback below EMA. Good signal bar. That's a really good trade. I went for one to one on that, just like I do with all my other trades. 15 ticks. That's a that's a good looking trade to me. And at this point, I was looking to lower the lows of the day because it is bouncing and it is still kind of in a range. And so I did lower it eventually down to here, I believe. Yeah. So anyway, we go down into this downtrend now. We get an overshoot, which leads to a break. We rush back above the EMA. We go into this congestion, and here is my second trade. It's kind—it's of, not the best trade, but it is. It's kind of congestive, but it is a fail second entry long fade of this range right here. Now it is into the EMA, except I was thinking it does have consistent lower highs: one, two, three, four. So I thought that that was fine. It is a fade. Most breakouts fail. So I did, I did go short here. It's also a second entry short. So I, there's a lot of good reasons to go short here. So once again, one to one. Then we go into this downtrend. We have a break, expecting a new low. I, I was looking at this trade. I didn't take it, but after the fact, it kind of seems all right, just because of the, the bearish imbalance in the range. It's a lower high, second entry short. It is really congestive though, so it's it's definitely an aggressive trade. Um, I, I, yeah, I think maybe I did the right thing to not take this trade, but you know it, it's not a terrible trade because of the momentum down. So I decided to mark it. Now here is another trade. I kind of wish I took it. Um, we broke out of the lows, the new lows that I put down here. It held again, then it broke out, and then it goes back in and holds again. So we go into this range at the lows. We break out the highs twice, fail, and then we break out the lows. 
and we get a first entry long, second entry long, at the lows of this small range and at the lows of the main range. It's a breakout of both. You know, I went, for, I got in with a limit order a couple ticks back just because there wasn't much room at the highs. Um, I did have to go through the highs of the range by, I believe, yeah, one tick. Um, that didn't bother me too much because of these two breakouts we had, so I felt like we probably had the means to break out a little bit again. So we hold, we make another leg up, we break out of this range. I've always to draw this, there's that, that doesn't fit too well, so I would actually draw it like this. Spike up, it doesn't last. We do still have a bearish imbalance. We go into this downtrend. Rushes below the EMA. It holds again. We might actually be able to lower these lows again. Just because they are, they're still kind of, it's like they're consistently holding, but they are still piercing through. And so then we have these two legs down. New high, first leg down, second leg down. There's no entry right here. Uh, this on this lower high um, it's just too big no room to the lows no good entry here and then this trade I got very soon before I started this video price broke out failed after two legs down so that's where it is going to reverse anyway after two legs it goes back in first entry short second entry short failure now I took this higher low after the failed second entry, um, but you still didn't get the scalp portion for this failure, so it is it is still entering on a failed second entry. Uh, I really like this trade. EMA held, it hugged the EMA, and then again, one to one. That's a good looking trade to me. So to, I, I did really good today. Um, I got these three winners. I didn't take losses today. Um, I identified these, which I don't really know about this one as much. It's This one's a lot more aggressive than these other two. Um, so it's, it's overall a really good day. And so I'll draw the risk to reward on all these to show about how much I, how many points I got. There's 15 ticks. There's another 15 ticks. There's nine ticks. Yeah. So, you know, price action works and it takes a long time to learn, but as long as you just focus and study, study a lot, you you know, you can learn this. Um, I haven't been live for very long. I've been live for just a little bit, for a few months. But um, I've been I've been doing great live. I'm not trying to like, you know, blow my own horn here. I'm just saying, you know, um, you can do this. Um, you know, and I, I'm just amazed by it. But but anyway, um, so that's what I saw today, and that's just my analysis of it. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something.